she was also paid with hair straighteners one time. The guy couldn't pay. And she was like, well, what do you have? And he had his girlfriend's hair straighteners and he gave her a pair of GHDs. What did you want to do and create with Sasha? What did you want her to speak to and speak of, would you say, when you were forming her initially? I feel like we talk a lot about like messy women, especially when you live in a big city or you live in London. Like there are a lot of, not even just women, but like younger people really struggling and trying to figure it out. And that's who I was talking to. Those people that, you know, have this huge ambition, but they, you know, maybe they lack self-esteem. And and I wanted, and even just looking at the Instagram culture and social media and being able to see the person you like want to be when you you look at Mm -hmm. sort of the Instagram life. And then you're like, okay, well, this is who I really am. And it's this kind of constant, constant like conflicts or confusion within yourself of like who you think you should be, who you are, who, and, and just like getting underneath that facade. And that's where I was like shown this website where these basically creepy ass men are showing women online. They're sort of honey trapping them, right? And saying, I'm a rich shake come to Dubai or somewhere and I will pay you five grand. You have to do X, Y, Z. And then these women were agreeing to it because they were like, all right, that's a lot of money. I'm going to do it. And then they put them up on the website and they shamed them. They just said, this person's not really a model. This person's not really a singer. They're actually a sex worker. And some of them were sex workers and some of them were just like destitute kind of women, like women who didn't have any money and was like, right, that's a lot of money for a night of kind of for a free holiday. So it was those people as well. I was just like, I haven't seen anybody talking about that kind of genuine desperation where you might do things that that go against your morals. Mm, it's it's so that kind of like fight or flight mode that she's constantly in and she's always having to like problem solve her way through her entire life. And the script itself is just so amazing. And I think the way that you really dealt with sex work and especially this version of OnlyFans that appears in Mood is so incredible and it's so interesting and it's a side of that kind of industry which we don't really necessarily see or talk about and you did so much research into it what kind of stories really stuck from you from that process one story that really stuck out to me was this um 18 year old who i met that basically her her friend had been kind of kicked out and of home and she was sort of being, she was still at college, she was sort of being like fostered by a family, friend or something. And she had discovered this website, you know, Seeking Arrangement. It's this website where you can kind of mutually go on it. And, and I was on there actually, I had a profile on there when I was researching the show. So I was getting all of these crazy messages from guys too. It's kind of supposed to be, you know, an adult website where rich men or rich women can find somebody to kind of pair up with and you can strike a a deal, I guess, of like what you get, you know, you might get 700 pounds a month to do X or, you know, Mm. just go for dinner, just, you know, people are quite explicit with what they want. But this 18 year old girl had, um, had an account on there. And then she basically told three of her friends at college and then they were all on seeking arrangement and they all had these sugar daddies, but they were like 17, 18. And so the girl I met had sort of found it through her friend. And they were like raking in cash at college, like none of their parents knew. And I had said to this girl, like, you know, what did you, what did you buy with the first time, like the first paycheck, right? Mm. And she said, girl, I bought weave. I bought weave. I just, I bought a weave. These girls are looking on social media and they're going, they're looking at like celebs who have these amazing hair extensions and weave, the Cartier, the bags, the this, and... That's what they're identifying with. And I don't remember being 18. And obviously I didn't have Instagram at the time and seeing things like that and feeling that real pressure of like material wealth. You know, I don't remember Mm. feeling like I had to be rich at 18 and have everything figured out to show everybody I was rich. So really strange. I know she was also paid with hair straighteners one time the guy couldn't pay 
And she was like, well, what do you have? And he had his girlfriend's hair straighteners and he gave her a pair of GHDs. <coughs> How bad is that? I know it's funny. It shouldn't be funny, but it is bad. It is it's, bad. Funny. It's bad. What did you see when you set up your own profile on it? What kind of mm. like messages and stuff are you getting? Because that must have been wild to like actually step yourself into that world. It was basically just like doing any kind of business transaction. Mm. Um, there was a guy on there who wanted to pay £700 for two blowjobs a month. That's what he was after. Why wouldn't you just, I don't know, like have a partner or just like meet a woman somewhere or whatever? He was like, oh, I don't want to basically pay somebody who could be being trafficked or could be, he was like, I want to find a woman to help her essentially. And then she can pay her rent. I can get what I need, but I don't have to have any kind of emotional connection. We'll just meet in a hotel. That is all I want. I don't really want a conversation. I just essentially want head. <laughs> that is it. I mean, I sort of understand it in one way, but I mean, the mm. sort of level of like privilege and just entitlement of, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to do it to help somebody out. I thought, Hmm. I mean, you could just give somebody seven hundred pounds, couldn't you? That you know, yeah, you and then could. Leave it up to them. <laughs>